Hey, how's it going? In this video, we are going to be adding footstep sounds, sound effects to our player character. It's actually going to be really easy. Um, we're going to be utilizing notifies. Um, but before we get started, if you happen, if you like this video and it's helped, uh, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and uh, let me know uh, what other tutorials that you're looking to see. Uh, but let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a sound cue. Then we're going to add our footstep sounds to our uh, sound cue. Then we're going to open up our animations, our specifically our walking animations and uh, running animations and add a notify and then attach that specific sound cue to those notify events. Uh, so let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is add a sound cue. So click and press add or right click and go to where it says sounds and click sound cue. I'm going to name this footsteps. Let's save that. Now I already went ahead or I, I already have some footstep sounds. So you're going to have to go ahead and purchase those yourself or find some free on the web. So open up that, uh, that sound cue, uh, blueprint. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go, go back to our drawer and navigate to our, um, our footstep sounds and I have chosen the dirt footsteps and make sure those are the wave files. So as you can see, there's 10 wave files. So I selected those. You don't have to do all 10. Uh, you could just, you can actually just do two or three, but I'm going to do 10 because I have 10. So on this output node, we're going to click and drag out and type in random. And this random node, we're going to add some extra inputs and we're going to connect these wave sounds to our random node. And when this sound cue gets played, this random node is going to select a random wave file and a, a random wave file and play it. Click and save that and click uh, play Q. And as you can see, it's just selecting, it's playing um, a random wave file from one of the inputs. So that's done. And you can also, if you click output, you can also change uh, the volume and the pitch. But that's done. And next we're going to open up our running animations and walking animations. So open that up. Let's pause that. And underneath this uh, 3D viewport, you'll see a track. This first track is called Notifies. And what we want to do is we want to line up. We're going to scrub through the timeline and find the position in the timeline where we want to place our Notify. And that's going to be on the contact position of the foot. So once we find that, you're going to right click on the area and go to add notify and click play sound. Now select that play sound and where it says sound under notify, we're going to type in our sound cue footsteps, select that and click save. Now to make this even easier, as you can, now, when we scrub past it in the timeline, you can actually hear 
uh, the footstep plane and it's random. So right click that notify and click copy and we're gonna find the second contact position, right click and paste. So that just makes it easier. So let's click play. And I can't hear it myself because I turned down the volume, but you should be able to hear the footsteps and they should be playing, they should be random. Now what you want to do is uh, you want to add this to the other animations, which are the, the walking animation. So let's see. So that's walking forward. Okay. Here's the contact position. Right click paste. Contact position, right click paste. There we go. And we're going to do the same for the crouching. Whoops. We're going to do that for, we're going to do this for the crouching animation, crouching walking animation. Contact right there. Contact. And I believe that's pretty much it. Let's see, idle. Yeah. You want to add this to any other walking or running, sprinting animations. There you go. And now, let's see. Click and save that. Now, when we click play, I'm gonna turn up my volume, click play, and we move our character around. There you go. We get our, uh, our footprint sound, our footsteps. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. So what we did, uh, we added footstep sounds, sound effects to our, uh, to our uh, player character. How did we do that? We created a sound cue. We added our sound effects to our wave, our wave files to that sound cue, connected that to a random node and connected that random node to our uh, output. Then we went into each uh, to uh, we went into our walking, running, and crouch walking animations, and added a notify, and we added specifically a play sound notify. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this video, if you want to see more, if it's really helped you, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for uh, making it out to the end of the video. And God bless and you guys take care.